Let's take a drive after the most recent delivery that I made. And you guys can see where I'm working, delivering food to people's houses. Have you ever read the book? Well, it was a, a short story. I think it was from a book called The Bachman Books by Richard Bachman, who was actually a pen name for Stephen King. Or it, it might have been in Monkey Wrench by Stephen King. Um, the book was called Mrs. Todd's Shortcut. And every time I end up working on one of these little tiny streets completely swallowed up by moss-covered trees and fences and leaves and bushes. It always makes me think of the short story Mrs. Todd's Shortcut. If you've, uh, if you've ever read that, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's not a very long read. You can uh, look it up and take a read. Hmm. I wonder, uh, wonder what it would take to get permission to read stories aloud in a video. Uh, it might look like I'm going real fast. I'm going like 18 miles an hour right now. I always go pretty slow on these little tiny streets. Uh, where I started this video was pretty much the end of the road. It closes after that house. Um, probably just becomes a fire road, I guess, but that was the basically the farthest I could possibly go up this hill to make this delivery. Uh, Thai food. The person ordered Thai food, and it smells delicious. I always uh, have a tendency to <clears throat> excuse me, uh, start working and not eat yet. So I, I end up delivering all this food, delicious, amazing food to all these people, and I haven't eaten dinner yet. Uh, and by the time I get around to eating dinner, most of these places that have the delicious food that I'm delivering are going to be closed. So I'll end up eating something not quite so delicious. Uh, so that was the, the smallest portion. Basically, that was like a side turnoff from this. This would be the main street going up the hill. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, this street actually goes over the hill and comes out in the town of Berkeley, which is, you know, a pretty significant portion of a conglomerate of cities that just combine into a giant metropolis. Uh, the town I'm in right now is called Orinda, and it's basically a village in these hills. Whoops. I'm kind of holding the camera tightly up against the rearview mirror right now. Um, I actually have a dash cam, but I haven't installed it yet. But that might be some future videos coming where I'm just posting dash cam videos. Um, we'll see if I do that or not. But uh, yeah, this little Orenda, it's a, an upscale neighborhood, little village. It's one of the, uh, the many little village type towns that we have nestled in some of the hills around here that basically popped into existence before the bridges were built from San Francisco across the bay. We have seven major bridges in the Bay Area. Um, and before those bridges were built, the land out in these areas was really cheap because it was way out in the boonies. Uh, it wasn't really attached to San Francisco. It would have taken a, a whole day to get to San Francisco. Oh, here comes a guy. All right. 
and now it uh, if you go when there's no traffic it's literally 20 minutes to get to San Francisco but uh, yeah so a lot of these towns were uh, created when the land was cheap and now they're kind of exclusive towns where the, uh, the housing is in the millions of dollars on some of them it would probably be hard to find a house in Orinda less than a million dollars um, and easy to find one for two or three million dollars but uh, anyway that was uh, a short little drive on my way back to the part of town where they have some restaurants when I get to this stop sign I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and then I'll be back at work Thanks for watching. See you next time.